Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. This is another warm-up sketch video as part of my um, Instagram um, suggestion series. <laughs> it's a working title, <laughs> just bear with me. Um, anyway, um, this suggestion came from Crafty Little Crochet, who's a very talented friend of mine. Please check out her Instagram to see her crochet projects. Um, she made two suggestions, um, but the first was butterflies. I didn't particularly feel inspired by this suggestion to be honest. Although I like butterflies, I just felt like their shapes are too simple, too easy. But as this video shows, it wasn't really that easy for me. Um, they were far more challenging than I was expecting. And as it turned out, I wasn't happy with hardly any of these drawings. Um, I had a real hard time, as you can particularly see with this one at the moment, I had a really hard time making them look symmetrical and making them look realistic. I did start to use um, my watercolour pencils, which I think gave a, a bit more life to the drawings. Uh, and also this watercolour pen that my cousin gave me, which I love. Um, I find it easier than regular brushes when it comes to watercolour for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why yet. This third butterfly was my least favourite. The calligraphy pen was running out and I didn't realise it, but it actually made the lines much harder to control and it just wound up looking like a mess. Um, I've seen four-year-olds that can draw better butterflies than this, but I didn't give up. Um, I just did as much as I could, left it to dry, moved on to these other butterflies and went back to it at the end. I've been trying to apply a tip that I've heard from several of the artists whose work I admire. Um, they often recommend just pushing through a piece that you're unhappy with rather than throwing it away and starting again. And I do feel like making these mistakes in the sort of in the comfort of my sketchbook, I suppose. Um, I feel like that did teach me um, quite a few things, and it, in the end, it influenced how I planned my final piece. Um, I also did some research on butterflies in the UK, and it gave me an idea for doing a piece that's more like a poster um, of the ten most common butterflies in the UK, rather than just doing one really detailed painting of one butterfly. So it's going to be several altogether, um, and I'm making that at the moment. So if you'd like to see the video when it's finished, um, hit subscribe, and you'll get a notification when I post it. Uh, also, you can follow me on my social media. Uh, I'll put a message in my Instagram and Facebook stories when I post the video, so you can check it out. So this butterfly became a proper mixed media project. I just tried different mediums on it, uh, hoping to make it better. I managed to cover up the overly thick body uh, by layering up which I think helped um, and also I used some Conti crayons which I think is their name but basically they work a lot like chalk pastels um, but except they're in pencil form which makes them hard to sharpen actually but they do layer up really well. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.